Hey everyone, in this video I'll be setting up my brand new Garmin Forerunner 645. I've gotten some new accessories for my New York Marathon coming up here and so one of those is the Garmin Forerunner 645 with music. In this video I'll set this up and I will download music directly to this watch and I'll show you how I play my music using wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Let's get started not a paid endorsement. I did purchase this with my own money. I have been using Garmin watches for years now. This is the box to the Forerunner 645 music watch and I've already unboxed it but I'll just show you what's in the box. So this is the watch that's in the box. I'll do a full setup here. Uh, this is the uh, charging cable and sync cable. You just have to make sure it connects with the contacts right here and this is how you charge the watch with a USB charger and this is how you sync it onto your computer is with this cable here that comes in the box and then a series of manuals come in the box as well so this is the English one I believe this is Spanish and French right here and this is important safety information so I did use the quick start manual to set this up as part of the setup uh, you do need your smartphone and you will need a computer to finish the setup here and I will be pairing with my Bluetooth headphones as well because this is the music watch so I will be loading my music onto this watch and uh, pairing it with my phone. I uh, charged it up completely. I'm going to start the Garmin app which is the connect app on my smartphone here and, um, and I'm going to add a new uh, Garmin device here. Now in order to do that here I need to hit start right here and it's going to go to run and I'm going to hold down the the button in the middle right here and it's going to go into uh, training, navigation, history, settings. I'm going to hit settings here and I'm going to go down to sensors and accessories. No, pair phone. I'm going to pair phone right now. I'm going to hit that and then I need to download the Garmin Connect which I have. I'm going to hit add device and then go to the mobile app to add my device and it says it's ready to connect my Forerunner 645 music and I said yes I want to connect it and it is going into a uh, pairing request. I'm going to enter in the pin code alright here it goes it is pairing and uh, it is connected okay excellent do I want to set this as my preferred activity tracker yes and it's going to connect my Forerunner 645 and it says setup complete. I'm going to hit next. And it says when do I typically sleep? 10 to 6. Sure. Want to receive notifications between these times? No, I do not. I'm going to hit next. And I want to sync my device. Syncing now. Status connected. Updating. Okay, it's got to update. I'm all set. I'm going to hit finish here. And then, uh, let's see, I can set up Wi-Fi. I can sync my music, set up Garmin Pay, create a workout. In order to um, put music on my new Garmin watch, I need to go to garmin.com forward slash express and download their express app. So I'm going to hit download for Mac and then I'm going to hit save file. And I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go over to Finder and sure enough, Garmin Express is right here and I'm, and I'm going to install Garmin on my desktop hit continue. I'm installing Garmin Express. Continue. Continue. Yes, I agree. Okay, I'm going to hit add a device. So here's my Garmin watch. The contacts have to attach to each other. All right, so now I've got this guy right here and then I'm plugging in my device. Ah, okay, and there it is. It found it. I'm going to hit yes, add my device and I need to sign into my account. Okay, and this is, I'm gonna say yes, this is my device nickname, and it's gonna finish setting up my device. And I did charge up my Garmin prior to starting this video. All right, so now my setup is complete, and I want to manage music on my Garmin. And let's go to playlists. Let's go look at my playlists, artists, albums, songs. Okay, excellent. So we can see all my music in my iTunes library. Select a playlist, classical music, and I'm going to hit send to device. And it should send my music to my device now. Excellent. Okay, transfer is complete. And now I'm going to uh, pair my earbuds. These are earbuds I, I bought that are completely wireless and they're great for running. And uh, in order to pair it, I'm just going to 
hold down the button until it starts flashing. This is in pairing mode now. So I'm going to hold down this up button. Okay, alarm clock, history, settings. I'm going to hit settings. Sensors and accessories, add new. Uh, headphones, yes, let's search for headphones. It's hopefully still in pairing mode here. Yes, it's still in pairing mode right now. Hopefully I can find my headphones. Ah, here it is. Uh, this is my headphones. I'm going to select to add, and it is connected. Okay, excellent. Back now, and let's see if I can listen to some music here. To open music controls, opening down. Okay, there it is. Those are my music controls, and it needs to be connected, and I'm going to hit play. And there is the music, the source, manage. I can manage music, headphones, music providers. Okay, headphones. Okay, I've got a headphone, and I can pause my music, or I can go to the next song. And let's see what the next song is. Intimate Tango. And, all right. And so we have the music going now. Well, yeah, that was the music setup for my uh, new Forerunner 645 with music. And this part of the video, I'm just going to show you how I get my music started when I'm getting ready to go out on a run. First of all, I need to turn on my earbud, and these are completely wireless earbuds. These, and I, I'll link to them below. They're, they're ones I bought on the deal of the day or something. So I'll just um, hold down this button until it turns on. There we go. And then I've got to turn on the other earbud because these are single earbuds or left, right earbuds. Turn on both earbuds. Then I'm going to uh, hold down this middle button here and then it goes into different options that I have so I'm gonna go into settings activities I'm gonna go into sensors and accessories and then I'm gonna keep on going down until I get to my earbuds these are the earbuds I own I'm gonna hit connect and I'm gonna connect to them and they are connected now excellent and then I'm going to back out of that and I'm going to go in, I'm going to hold down this bottom button here on the left hand side. And uh, let's see, so it's it's already on a song that I was playing previously. I'm going to go into mute my music. And this is the music I just loaded on. Force is my music, now playing my running list. Play all songs, playlists, artists, albums, songs, uh, podcasts, audiobooks. So you can listen to a podcast and an audiobook while you're listening to this. And then all you have to do, you can adjust the volume on this, and you can just hit play and go to the next song or the next song. So that's pretty cool. So while you're running, you can actually adjust the song that you're playing. So let's say I want to go to the next song, and let's see what the next song is. It's Footloose. Okay, excellent. And it is it is playing right now. I'm going to back out of that. So now I'm going to hit this run button over here, start, stop button, and now I can start my run. I just finished my first run on my Forerunner 645 music watch. Just to show you how to get it started, you press the start, stop button, and it defaults to run, and then it starts looking for satellites. So the GPS is red now when it turns green. That means that the satellites are found, and in the meantime, it's looking for my foot pod and my heart rate. So it does have a heart rate monitor on the back right here so if I was wearing the watch you'd be able to get my heart rate here and we're just gonna wait for a second the GPS will turn green and then it will it'll know where I am there it goes GPS is ready and then it goes and it says foot pod is connected and it is ready to go now so if I hit start again it will actually start the run and you can say I am on a treadmill indoor track bike or heart rate stress I think is the other choice here hold down this middle button right here and when I hold it down uh, you've got some more choices. So I can update the watch face. I can use this as an alarm clock. I can go into history, and that's what I want to show you right now, to show you my run, activities. And I just finished an activity today, and I'm going to click on it, and I can get details. It was at 8 o'clock this morning. My distance, my time, my pace, my calories. Let's see. Uh, average heart rate, max heart rate. Aerobic TE. TE stands for training effect. It assigns you a training effect anaerobic training effect, cadence, um, ascent, descent. So it gives you great details about your run. It does, it does do laps. The default lap is one mile. So one mile, it took me 11 minutes and 24 seconds to do that first lap. And then it goes into all of the uh, other laps. You can view a map of where you ran, where you started and where you stopped. 
uh, training effect, that's, that's TE lactate threshold, highly improving. I'm maintaining my anaerobic fitness. Uh, so it's telling me how it thinks I did. I'm going to back out of that. Time in zone. So it tells me how much time I spent in each heart rate zone. Uh, elevation plot. Let's see. So 66 feet up over my 3.2 files. And then I can delete it. No, I do not wish to delete this. Uh, so that's that's the first activity I've done. Records, totals, it'll tell you, you know, the total number of miles that you've run on this watch. I've done one activity for three miles on this watch. And mm -hmm. it's been running. And so you can do cycling and you've got a lot of different options and you can reset it at any point in time. So I'm gonna back out of that setting. So there's there's a lot of settings that you can Control on here, watch face. It, it is a wrist heart rate monitor. Sensors and accessories, this is where you add new um, accessories. So I do have a foot pod, it's not connected right now. And I, I do have a set of earbuds that are not connected right now. So I'm going, and you and you do have phone, so it does. it is connected to my phone. I do get smart notifications and, and uh, on my phone. So I've already done that, and I do have Wi-Fi. I do have audio prompts on, so every time I finish a mile or a lap, it does say how long it took me to finish that lap. And I do have my profile, activity tracking, maps, everything, system, about. So a lot of settings on here. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a quick review of what it looks like after you finish a run.